The following movie is rated PG-13. Building, they got pool table. thinking about academics but a more well-rounded student would get more involved well like what well-rounded well they got an active freak life here on campus they have at least six fraternities and five sororities you ought to be able to find one of those groups you can fit in hey don't they do those things for the community or something they do a lot more than partying they go downtown and volunteer at the nursing home and help clean up at the highway hey i like that idea but you know what how about down by the north student center is there something to do there yeah, they got that new big building. They got pool tables and video games. Hey, don't they have dancing? Mm -hmm. They can kick dancing. up our feet down there. Hey, why not? Worst comes to worst, we can go up downtown and catch a beaver bus to the Philly or New York. Hey, I like the New York idea. Let's do that. We can get out of Cookstown. Okay, let's go. Okay. Department of Public Safety is charged with enforcement of parking regulations at Kutztown University. Resident freshmen are only permitted to park in the fairgrounds area located adjacent to Y-Lot. Resident freshmen must provide a letter from an employer or a letter from their parents detailing why they must have a vehicle on campus during their freshman year. Louise, I told you we shouldn't park here. Now we gotta pay a $50 fine. Where are we gonna pay it? Girl, don't you know anything? We go out to the administration building and pay it at the bursar's office. Come on, then we can be on our way.
okay. Well, she's not here right now. But I have to tell you, she's really, she's really scaring me. She borrows my clothes all the time. She didn't tell me that, you know, she doesn't tell me that Brad calls me or anything. She doesn't give me my messages. It's kind of strange. It's, it's like she wants to be like me. Does that make any sense? Well, hold on. I have to call you back, okay? All right, bye. What are you doing? I'm borrowing your clothes. Oh, um... Well, I think it would be a good idea maybe if, if you would ask me before you before you brought my clothes. I don't have to ask you. I'm your roommate. Anything that's yours is mine. That's it. Well, can you put them back in the closet? Because that's my good outfit and I really don't want you to wear it. Yeah, you're not listening to what I'm saying. We're roommates. We're friends. We're one. What we have is ours together, not just yours. Ours oh. together. Okay. And don't forget it. Um, did Brad... By any chance, call me last night? Nobody called for you. Oh, because I talked to him and he told me that he called and I just thought that I maybe said you nobody forgot called or, for you. I, well, I just thought that maybe you forgot I to. I said nobody called for you. Stop harassing me. Nobody called for you. Why are you acting like this? Because. I know we're roommates, but my goodness, you don't have to act like this, Tracy. I think we need to go to see the RA and solve these roommate conflicts. So you trying to say I'm crazy? Well, I guess we'll just have to see. I haven't had nothing. nothing. Well, let me tell you what takes a dedicated athlete like me to play on one of the Kutztown intercollegiate sports teams. Like the football team, the basketball team, the baseball team, the wrestling team, even the girls' field hockey team, you know what I'm saying, right? Plus, there's the, the club sports, like rugby, lacrosse, you know what I'm talking about, right? Excuse me, I hate to interfere, but you think we can play some ball? Dedicated athlete, you woman keeps bugging you. What? what should we do then? I mean, I don't know what to do around here. Yeah. Why don't y'all go play some uh, intramural sports or something? Oh yeah, like what? Oh wait, wait, wait. I know. I've been practicing Jeopardy about sports. Uh, what is basketball? What is baseball? What is you talking about? Why don't you go over to the Keystone, take your little ID, sign out some equipment, go in there. There's bikes in there. There's rowing machines there. There's hey, indoor track. Hey, that's a track. good idea. Yeah, not the something. indoor track. We can play some volleyball, some tennis. There's Do a swimming the pool in there. Why don't you just take your little butts on over there. They have aerobics classes at Risby. There's a, a weight room, all that good stuff. Yeah. Why don't you just all right. go? All right, all right. Fine, that's what butt. we're going to do then. What well, do you first, we're going to try to get on Jeopardy. Good. Good. You, you go, later, girl. Baby. You go, girl. See ya. Let's go. Now. Now. <coughs> <coughs> so pretty. So, so pretty. Jasmine, I'm trying to tell you, I'm not a prince. Oh, Aladdin, it doesn't matter anymore. You can do whatever you want to do. But that's just it. I don't know what I want to do. Then you need to go to career services and use the computer called Siggy. Siggy can help you choose a major. But what do I do when I graduate? How do I find a job? Then you go back to career services and use another computer called Connexus. Connexus is hooked up to many different businesses around the country so that they can review your resume. A friend of mine told me that they'll also critique your resumes. Yes, that's right. Career services can open up a whole new world, but where's it located? Right over there in the administration building. Let's go. How are we ever going to 
tuition. I now that we're getting married, we have no money. I don't know, honey. I have two jobs, you have two jobs. We'll make it work somehow. Most important is that we're in love. I know. Oh, there's that rich kid. Jeez. I hate people like that. I bet he has no problem paying his tuition. Yeah, but he probably doesn't have anything else. What's up with you, rich boy? What's your problem? Guys like you just walk around campus, nothing better to do. No jobs, no worries in the world. Why don't you try your best? Make you a better deal. What's that? She's kind of cute. $100,000. Shut up. Don't go since that. $100,000. One night. You might be rich, but you don't have that money anyway. Oh, no problem getting that. Trust me. Take care of all your problems. Don't listen to him, honey. Give you a few minutes to think about it, sport. Money can't buy you love. Don't listen to him. $100,000, we wouldn't have to worry about anything. But, but how can you even consider that? I thought you loved me. It's not my it's not my mind or my heart or my soul. It's just my body. How can you even consider that offer? I thought we were getting married. Too. What's going on? Well, we have a problem we can't solve, but I don't know what to do. What's the problem? This rich guy just came over and offered $100,000, and we're in debt, and we don't know what to do, so I just thought we'd take the offer. Well, well we're in love. Wait a minute, that sounds serious. That's not something I can handle. Well, you could go to the counseling center and make an appointment, or you can just call 4072 and make an appointment over the phone. It's all confidential, and no one else will know about it. Maybe you should try that. Is it free of charge? It's free of charge. Well, there we go, honey. We'll go to the counseling center. Good luck, you two. Thank you. An emergency has been oh reported. Please evacuate the building if you are fire An emergency has been reported. Please evacuate the building. Tracy, what happened? I didn't follow fire alarm procedures. <laughs> Oh, Tracy, whenever there's a fire alarm, you should always leave the building immediately and never, ever use the elevator. And never let them see you sweat. Bye, Manon! <laughs> We're talking new student union building in Kutztown, Pennsylvania. And you know why? Because you're coming here, that's why. We're talking cafeteria, we're talking multi-purpose rooms, we're talking TV lounges, we're talking the whole place hooked up. And you know why? Because we're in Kutztown University. We're talking new student government office. We're talking new orientation office. We're talking new student activities office. We're talking 1,500 new students coming in to this university. We're bringing them right to your house things will kill you. Forget about Cindy Crawford. Forget about Richard Gere. I got two words for you new KU students. President McFarland. And I got three words for you, President McFarland. Vice President Chick Wittard. That's four words. Kutztown University, 1993. I think you hear us knocking and we're coming in. We're bringing in Dave, we're bringing in Chick, we're bringing in Cindy and the orientation crew. And you better get good grades. 